Well, hey guys, and welcome again to Into the Night. Tonight I'm going to do another product review. This is the Ace Beam um, little Terminator M2 they've sent me. It's this little like an everyday carry torch, so it's an interesting one. This one, I'll get it. I'll get it out and put it on the table, and I'll show you what's inside the box. Okay, so this is the Terminator M2. It's a pretty cool little torch, this one. We'll get it out of the box and I'll show you what it is. Well, it's, first of all, they've got a five year warranty on it, fad light, it's got a spotlight, and multi coloured auxiliary light. So, anyway, open her up and show you what's inside the box. Okay, so this is the contents of the box. We've got some instructions and a warranty card. We've got a USB-A to USB-C charging ca cable. We've got a lanyard. And then here's the torch itself. So we've take, just got a warning label on here saying to take the sticker off the gl glass, which I've just taken off before. Now we've got a nice pocket clip on there. A pretty strong pocket clip. And it's the torch itself. It's really nice feels really good in your hand it's a nice size and shape it's just sits in your hand now we got you got your white like a floodlight and you also got a spotlight there so you got and also these little ones i think around the outside actually uh the rgb colored lights so this little switch here you switch between your spotlight and your floodlight and yeah so to start with we'll just take oh there's your button on the back for your, your switch in the back there so it's a nice metal button too so it's not going to get a hole worn in it so you will take the cap off the battery to start with it's an insulating film now this is a 3100 milliamp hour 18650 battery so it's the same as other ones you push you got the little USB-C slot at the top there you can um, plug the USB-C in there to charge the battery and you get a little light will come on there red when it's charging it'll go green when it's finished so yeah you should be able to use any 18650 battery in there but they recommend using their batteries like all companies do <laughs> but so it's good nice that you can put a any battery in it okay we'll turn it on so we got just on flood mode you know press and hold and it goes that's really bright. <laughs> that's, that's really bright. Anyway, we'll turn it back down to that one. And now flick the switch and that goes to spot. So that's a really bright little spot. There's no adjusting the spot up and down. It's just on or off with the spotlight. So now if you got it on the floodlight and say from off you press and hold and keep holding and then let go and it can it'll cycle through automatically you got blue sort of violet and all the different different rgb colors actually they, they come from in the middle middle there not the not around the, the edges like i said before now if you press and hold again and let go, it'll just stay on red. Press and hold again and let go, it'll go to green, blue, and flash, like SOS, green, or, yeah, so it's doing SOS. 
No, it's just a flash of SOS. Yeah, the red red does SOS. The green's just every so an intermittent green flash. And you go back to solid red again. Solid green, solid blue. They're not very bright, so I'm not exactly sure what the point of having them in there is. But hey, they're pretty cool. <laughs> So, but as soon as you turn it, turn them off, it's and then turn it back on, it's straight back onto white. Double click for turbo. Triple clicking. There's no strobe that I know of. Okay. Anyway, let's go and get it outside and see how it actually performs in the dark. It's a cool little light. Okay, so I've got the Ace Beam Terminator M2 here. I'm just going to do a test outside. So for starters, you can see in the side there, it's got a green light comes on, tells you to charge your battery. Okay, so there you can see it's moonlight. Press and hold it again. So that's on low. There's medium, you can see those trees over there, they're about 30 metres and they're lit up quite well. And you can go up to there, that's <coughs> that's plenty light for especially to see where you're going at night. And then there's high. So those trees, if I go to turbo now, that's just really nice and bright. For such a tiny little torch, yeah, there's a lot of bugs out here tonight. They all come under the light. So now, if I switch, just flick the switch on the side, go straight to the spotlight, and that's uh, it's got a little bit of spill light, but most of it's um, flood that goes a spot that goes a long way. Now you can see if you can make out down there. Um, there's a power pole down there at 300 metres and I can see it, not too bad. No, it's actually at about 280 metres I think, correction. So, for a little torch like this, just flick it to spot, flick it to flood, spot, flood, and it's really good. There's turbo. So I've had it on had it on high and turbo for a little bit. It is starting to get a little bit warm, but it's not uncomfortable. It probably will um, I think you can see it is starting to get a little bit dimmer as it heats up. It's dimming the light down to so it to protect the circuit boards inside, which is you don't want to cook your torch. So then you go back down to low. Medium, medium, and like a second medium, <laughs> and then high, and turbo. So yeah, great little torch. Now I'll turn, I'll turn it off, and I'll turn on the. There's, there's your light. So I've got my hand, my foot. No, so I've got my hand about a foot away from the, or 30 centimeters away from the light. And you see, you can see they're not very bright. There's a red light, and there's a green. I can sort of just see the ground, but not enough to be able to even see where I'm walking. There's blue, and there's a green light flashes. Just two flashes every probably five seconds, and then you got your red SOS. And you just cycle through them again. So you turn it back on, and it's straight into the spot, and the flood, sorry. And then you flick the switch straight into the spot. So it's pretty good little light. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap up my final thoughts on the little Ace Beam Terminator M2 everyday carry torch. This thing here is a really cool little torch. I really like it. It's feels really nice to hold, just 
fits in your hand really good but I'll just give it a few pros and cons um, my biggest issue with this torch is when you go from switching it the, I wish it had a side switch on it like to get on the here somewhere you could use to change the modes instead of being on the back because sometimes you sort of makes it's more comfortable to hold it in your hand so that's the buttons at the top rather than at the bottom but then to be able to use it the sides um, to flick the switch between the flood and the spotlight you sort of got to take it move it around turn it around in your hand to be able to get to that switch so I just find it's it's easier um, it would be a lot easier to have a button on the top here and then you can flick the switch to change it between the flood and the spot if you want to use it up like that you can have the back switch as well in, as well in conjunction with it but that's just a little minor issue it's very functional you something you can probably get used to and I like how you can just flick it between your flood and your spot back to flood again and it's very functional and very usable so anyway I'll leave the review at that that's the Ace Beam Terminator M2 an everyday carry torch and that's a cool little torch so if you want to pick one of these up head over to the link in the description below um, yeah go and check them out and if you do like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also if you'd like to buy some caps or some stickers I've got a link for my merch in the description below as well and so if you'd like to support the channel that way so anyway I'll leave the review at that and I'll catch you on the next one